Woman sneaks three pieces of candy stuffed under the door against the door and then carefully adjusts the position of the bottle holder and then deliberately placed the alcohol in the hallway to make it look easy to fall. Then she went into the ward of the wounded Japanese. She kindly took the doctor's foggy glasses, took the opportunity to change the distilled water to 300 degree alcohol and the highly nearsighted Japanese doctor. Wells did not realize that he had poured the alcohol into the pressure cooker filled with needles. The woman then stole the original distilled water when the doctor wasn't looking, pouring the water directly into the corridor. Soon the distilled water was slowly flowed down to the vicinity of the sugar cube. The woman then rushed to the hospital's motor room. She slowly unscrewed the screw on the side of the oil lamp and then pulled the main power supply straight out. Dripped all the fuses with salt water again. Soon the soldiers came up to check on the power cut. The sugar cube under the door melted just in time. The wooden door was unevenly stressed directly onto the pre-designed bracket. The bracket in turn hit the pressure cooker in the house by chance. The next second. In an instant the soldier was stabbed very badly by the spurt of needles. Frightened, they ran frantically down the corridor, accidentally knocked over a box in the aisle. Alcohol was spilled all over the floor. A wise officer sniffed it with his nose. He told his soldiers, don't make a fire. But coincidentally, the soldier who had just gone to check the motor room came running with the special oil lamp. He was about to report to the officer. The lamp fell to the ground. It ignited all the alcohol in one go. The whole corridor was instantly ablaze. All the soldiers died instantly. And who was behind all this? 